Hey guys, this is Anthony from Syracuse Martial Arts. Uh, as promised, somebody asked about uh, how I approach wooden dummy technique on a heavy bag. Okay, so I'm going to talk about that for a little bit. Okay, I'm not going to go too far into it. Basically, I'm a, a firm believer in being a, uh, as creative as possible in your training. Uh, I like to listen to fighters, like I said before. I like to listen to people who actually spar, actually fight, uh, and, and incorporate some of their training methods into my training methods. And so far, it's worked for me over the years. Uh, it's worked for my students. Uh, we, we just came back from a tournament uh, this past weekend, and um, we had uh, five Five uh, uh, competitors, uh, and I think five, and uh, we had nine trophies: four first place, four second place, and one third. So we pretty much dominated the uh, tournament using straight up JKD and Wing Chun. Okay, so uh, again, I'm a firm believer in uh, being creative and making the gongfu your own. Okay, so I'm going to be wearing uh, basic bag gloves. There's hardly any protection here at all. Okay, but this is just to protect because this is a canvas bag, so it'll cut up your knuckles. Okay, the in our particular lineage of Wing Chun, again, there's so many different lineages. Like there's Hong Kong lineage, and then there's uh, what I call Chung style, which is very known uh, to be called TWC, but I don't like to call it that. Uh, our dummy form, you know, we start off from a side hand position. So if I take these off from here, and we enter in, and we go around, hit, boom, and we hit, okay? Um, again, you could do that in the air, but how can we adapt that to the heavy bag? Well, uh, one way, okay, I've changed, I've changed a few things, all right? So now do I have to do the entry technique? Yeah, I can do the entry technique, or I could just start right from here, from bridge position. The bag doesn't have the arms, so I can't acknowledge the arms when I'm, doing, when I'm hitting the bag, but I can use the hitting combos. So for example, you know, I enter in, right? When I go around, I could turn this into a slap, right? Or I could turn it into a hook, all right? Or more like a, a round punch. Right, hey guys. So again, when I enter in, all right, there's my first combination. Again, enter, hit, hit. All right. So I like to start from a front position. So I enter in. Right now, the next hit is that body shot in the form. It's a palm strike. Right. I can either do a palm strike, or I could just turn it into a body shot here. So I enter in. All right. Again, putting in power. All right, now the kick that we do in that particular form is, is that kick there, right? The chaiga, right? Um, you can do that, but what I like to do, uh, again, be creative, is I'll enter in. I'll get my hook, I'll get my straight, I can get my body shot, I send the, the bag away, right? And then from here, boom, I throw my round kick, all right? Or I don't send it away at all. Or I don't do the body punch at all. So I can change it up any way I want. Okay, so you can see, I can hit it as hard as I want, all right? So what about strikes like uh, satsao, right? Okay, so in the form, there's a lot of different parts of this form, okay? But there's one part of the form where we do uh, paksao into the satsao body strike, okay? Uh, you know, I don't really need these for that, but you know, I like to protect the hands, all right? I can enter in, I can either practice entering in, and then fielding out into my strike, or I could just practice from here. So I still run through the motions into my strike. Of course, I need to be able to generate power from here. So when I do that technique, I practice that. Right? Or I can turn this into a gua choy, into a body punch, right? And go, and I can practice on this side. All right? So that's one thing you can do. All right, there's another part of the form where we go here, up, strike, 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 and then we do a, a foot sweep, right? Well, I could change that. Let me show you how. And this will be the last one. I think you get the idea, okay? By the way, I got to twist it up ankle because uh, I train sometimes too much and I hurt myself. So I'm trying to do my best without damaging, further damaging my ankle. Okay, so again, I go through the motions. I come up, boom. Boom, boom, there's my strikes. Or I turn them into all punches. I, I go bong sao, tan sao, punch, back fist, cross, all right? So I go boom, and I can do my round kick. Or I can go, 
I can do it like that. That's one of my favorites because I'm already in range on the guy. So if I hit him, I can come in with my knee. Again, one more time. Okay. That last knee was pretty shitty. Anyway, that's it. Have fun. See ya.